Tonight, a burglary suspect is in custody, accused of targeting homes by reading obituaries. We first told you about this this morning. Eyewitness News reporter Brandon Truitt has the story of one family who says their home was broken into while they were at a funeral for a loved one. There's really no good time to be the target of criminals, but imagine it happening while you were at your father's funeral. That is exactly what happened this weekend, and police say the suspect had plans for more. So it's like you get robbed and, and your family member gets robbed of that appreciation on, on their special day. Feeling robbed of belongings and grief, Mary Frances Randall says her father, veteran Daniel McIsaac, died this month at 75. The family holding his funeral Memorial Day weekend. We're like, oh, something's probably going on because it's never gone off before. Her home security system alerting of a break in. Randall quickly calling police in Rantham and Franklin. That's where her father lived. She feared his place could get hit too, and police say it did. No one should have to go through that on their, it's almost like the saddest day in your life and now you're not even celebrating their life and, and grieving like you should because now you're focused on somebody else breaking in. Police arresting 37-year-old Daniel Lennon. They say Lennon had a list of homes, each of a family recently losing a loved one, mapping out when the services would be held. Police saying he had more break-ins planned. There are several ways you can better protect your home while attending a funeral. Many security consulting groups suggest having someone watch your home, maybe a close friend or trusted neighbor. Secondly, create an illusion your home. Try leaving on some lights or maybe even the TV. Lock away all valuable items such as jewelry or important documents. Despite all that's happened, Randall considers this a best case scenario with no one being injured, no valuable stolen and a suspect in custody. In the control room, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.